Hi, Elijah and Scott. I have some questions to ask both of you for my interview. Are you willing to answer them? Yes, sir. How did you get into Pokemon? I watched every single series from whenever Pokemon came out. I also played the games when it came out. So, yeah, it just kind of came naturally, Pokemon Go. Exact same thing. I've watched since I was a kid. I used to dress up like Ash Ketchum, including the shoes, every night before bed. That's right. <laughs> what is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? I have to say Charmander, Charizard, of course, and Pokemon Emerald for a game. I don't really have a favorite. I like I like every I like Gen One. I have to say that every Pokemon in Gen One, I love it. And favorite game, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, you know what? Pokemon Yo, my yeah, first ever uh, Pokemon game that I ever played, yeah, got me uh, hooked yeah. into it. So, uh, you know what? My favorite. How did you get into Pokemon Go, and when did you start playing the game? Um, I got into it because obviously I love Pokemon. I've been watching it forever. So when the game came out, I was like, oh snap, I can go out and play. So that's how I got into it, and I started playing 7-Eleven 2016. I uh, almost the same. Same thing, yeah. I, I played it when the game first came out. I've heard about the game ever since, uh, like a year before. So when it came out, you know, I started playing it. Uh, I love Pokemon, so it only made sense for me to play this game when it first came out. So that's how I got started. And I'm still playing. So. Yeah. Lastly, what advice can you give to people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube? Be yourself. Be yourself and never give up. Never give up. And don't care what other people think. Be yourself and live your life. All, I'm, all that matters is you. You matter. You. You matter. You matter. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you for your time. No, thank you. We appreciate it. All right, take care. Hi, James. Hi. I have some questions to ask you for my interview. Are you willing to answer them? I think so. How did you get into Pokemon? Um, I got into it because uh, in the early days of the after the launch, uh, a lot of people were hearing about it in the news. And my son, I have a 10 year old son uh, named Mac, and uh, I knew that eventually he would ask me to play it. So I actually started playing it just to check it out to see if I thought it would be a good game for him to play. And uh, and I loved it. In fact, I'm not really that much of a gamer, but I do like to be outside. And so the fact that it was a game I could play outside. I just got really into it, and I feel like it's more of a sport than it is a game. I mean, it is a game, but in a way it's the first uh, sport that involves a handheld device. So it's kind of like the first mass, uh, massively popular uh, outdoor, real-world, digitally enhanced game. What is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? Pokemon Go. Oh, favorite Pokemon is uh, Dragonite. And Pokemon Go is my favorite game, obviously. <laughs> when did you get into playing the game? Uh, a couple days after it was launched. Yeah. Lastly, what advice can you give for people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube? Well, I actually think it's great. I, I, my advice would be, first of all, if you feel comfortable doing it and if you want to do it, I think it's great that you do it. Um, I guess, as I think about it, it's a really good question. Um, and I'm not necessarily the expert on this, but I do have a lot of thoughts about um, the importance of um, people feeling comfortable being themselves. So I think my advice about uh, anybody, including someone with disabilities, would be um, to feel uh, proud and comfortable being yourself. Uh, so uh, sounds like that's all, what you're already doing. I would just encourage you to keep doing that. Uh, be uh, comfortable being who you are, how you are, and then be, people will be able to relate to you because you're, you're you and you're unique because you're you. Thank you for your your time. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure speaking with you too. Hi, Gio. I have some questions for you. Sure. To ask for my interview. Are you willing to answer them? Yeah, sure, for sure. How did you get into Pokemon? Um, as a little kid growing up, um, basically in elementary school, roll into it with everybody else, and it was just an instant hit. So 
as I was like 11 or 12 years old, I also got immediately hooked on the game. So, and then the anime also came out. So, what is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? My favorite Pokemon is Gengar, um, and my favorite Pokemon game of all time is Pokemon Snap because of the, the photograph aspect and it kind of takes you along and makes the experience a little bit more real than it was back then. How did you get into Pokemon Go and when did you start playing the game? I saw the trailer about a year before um, the game actually got released and then on the day of release uh, someone actually told me you could download the Australian um, App Store file of Pokemon Go and that's how I immediately got started playing the game. Lastly, what advice can you give for people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube? Um, it's, it's, it's a tough one uh, because obviously you have a disability and uh, what I would do is just, you know, try to make videos that make you happy um, and that you can find yourself in with. Like if this is an outlet for people with disability, then that is great because it will help the person. Um, one thing to take into consideration is uh, YouTube, uh, people on YouTube can be very harsh. So if, if there's ever a moment where you're like, hey, this is getting too tough for me because I'm, I'm coping with a disability, you always have the option to just disable the comments. But the general people are relatively respectful and they are trying to understand where you're coming from. Uh, so just keep at it, you know, it's, it's awesome what you're doing uh, and also uh, people with disabilities, it's awesome what they're doing as well uh, and I have nothing but respect for them, so, you know, just keep it up. Thank you for your time, it was a pleasure. You're welcome, you're welcome, man. take care. Hi Addison, I have some questions to ask you for my interview, are you willing to answer them? Yes, sure. Ask How did you get into Pokemon? How did I get into Pokemon? Well, ever since I was little, about, you know, nine, eight years old, I got into uh, Game Boy games, and one game I really played was Game Boy Yellow with the Pikachu on it, so that was one of my favorites. What is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? Well, my favorite Pokemon is Absol, because Absol is a dark Pokemon, and in the lore, it says that he was terrorizing the city, but he wasn't terrorizing the city, he was just warning the people that a flood was coming. So everybody mistaken him to be bad, but he's really good. But my, fa uh, my favorite game of all time uh, would be uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And Emerald. 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 I said Emerald. Emerald. There you go. How did you get into Pokemon Go and when did you start playing the game? I started when the first day it came out. The first day it came out. So I just played once and I saw that the community was coming together and I wanted to bring more people together to win. So to win like, you know, gyms and stuff, well yellow team on instant. But to gather people, have fun together, that's all uh, that's the key that we're trying to do. Bring people together, have fun together, meet new people and Probably new couples, new, you know, new a lot of stuff, you know, just have fun. Lastly, what advice can you give for people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube? Never take no for an answer. No obstacle is an obstacle for you to be stopped. Every, you don't, don't use your disability. Uh, don't, don't see it as that. You know, when I see you, Lewis. Uh, I don't see a disability. I see a YouTuber that's trying to go up on the rise. You know what I'm saying? Dedication and hard work will prevail and you can go up and up when you put in the grind, the hard work. No matter what you, uh, no matter uh, who you are, you know, you just gotta do it. No matter what. Anybody can do it. Don't let anything stop you from doing it. Use your heart. Use everything that you have to do what you love to do and that is which is mine is doing video so don't let anything stop you from doing what you got to do trust in your heart and just go for it even if you fail get back up and just do it just do it and know that you got people around you supporting you and help you grow in the community just just do it thank you for your time it was a pleasure you're welcome uh, thank you for having me Lewis thank you thank you Hi Holly, I have some questions to ask you for my interview. Are you willing to answer them? Yes, I am, Louis. Thank you for having me. How did you get into Pokemon? Uh, how did I get into Pokemon? Well, um, my brother actually got me into Pokemon and my cousins. So 
When I was really little, I think I was like six or seven or eight, um, I saw my brothers and my cousins playing Pokemon Red and Blue on their Game Boys, and so they let me play it, and I immediately fell in love with the game. So I took uh, my mom, well, my mom took me to the store, and we got my Game Boy, and I've been in love with it ever since. What's your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? My favorite Pokemon is Flareon. I have a Flareon tattoo. I also, this is my Flareon tattoo. And what was the second question? What is your favorite Pokemon game of all time? My favorite Pokemon game of all time is Pokemon Yellow because um, I loved how Pikachu could follow you around and I've loved Pikachu ever since then. How did you get into Pokemon Go and when did you start playing the game? Well, because I'm such a big Pokemon fan, I knew that Pokemon Go was coming out. So as soon as it came out, I immediately downloaded the game. I started playing it. I loved it ever since. And what was the other question? Yeah, I, I was, uh, so, lastly, what advice can you give people with disabilities like mine or even those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube. Yeah, so the number one thing about YouTube is that don't let anything discourage you. Always keep trying and, you know, make a video that you're proud of. If you're proud of the video, then that's good. And, uh, you know, always just try your best. Think about what other people want to see, but never lose your originality and your flavor. So always keep that in mind. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Lewis. Thank mm -hmm. you.